So we're finding out about live streaming solutions from Wirecast today and joining me to tell us more about it is Kim from Digibox. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Now tell us about Wirecast, what is it? So Wirecast is live streaming and production software. What we've got here is the Wirecast gear. So this is a custom built quad core Windows 10 PC. It's got a capture card built in and it's running Wirecast Pro software. Okay, so this is to accompany the Wirecast software that we're going to talk through in a minute. Yeah. So Wirecast Pro is the software. This is basically, this is your all-in-one turnkey solution. So it is your PC, it's your capture card um, for all of your ingest of your cameras, and it's got your storage in there. So you can do three things with this. You can switch between all of your sources and create your program, or whatever your output is going to be. Um, you can record to disk because we've got a built-in hard drive and then you can stream it to any destination you want. Fantastic. So things like Facebook Live, Vimeo, YouTube, or you can go to things like an RTMP feed. Okay, so this is perfect for, I think what, what's very apparent about this is once upon a time you would have had to have perhaps lots of qualifications, you'd have to be very tech savvy to be able to do it. This essentially could be used by anybody, it's pretty simple to get started it's isn't it? It's really, really easy to use the software, so it's all in a layer based system. You can really simply add any kind of capture source, whether that be just you and a webcam or one camera to kind of a much larger scale multi-camera um, event or solution. Um, it's quite agnostic as well, so it doesn't matter what brand of camera or what type of camera you've got. We get a couple of different models. We've either got HDMI or SDI um, capture in. So basically you can connect whatever you've got out there already um, and start streaming. Fabi, you spoke about the layers there. So within the software then, just to make it um, simple for people that maybe haven't used yeah. it before. So you can lay things like perhaps a, a brand logo over it or yes. scores, cards, like you said earlier. And, and it's as simple as just adding them onto what looks like a timeline. Yes, so you've got your kind of, you've got all of your main capture sources. You can then add things either above or below that. So we can do things like picture in picture. We can do a split screen. Um, we can put graphics on top of there. You can actually also bring in things like a Twitter feed. So you can live direct, you can directly link to your Twitter um, and you can bring in a feed from a hashtag or from your homepage. So if you're broadcasting or streaming out live and you want to have that direct feedback from your audience on what's happening, you could use a Twitter hashtag and then you could bring that into your live stream. And within that as well, you can moderate those comments. So you with a simple tick box can choose which of those comments you want to put out live so this is really handy for things like, aside from obviously broadcasting traditionally, this yeah. is great for things like events, conferences, training sessions. It opens up a whole kind of world of usage, if you like. Yeah, and because it's so easy to get started, you don't need to have that kind of technical background. You do see it used. You see it used from schools for their um, for football games, for their nativity plays. You can see that. You can... Um, so using a corporate environment as well. So actually sometimes you can use this streaming, not necessarily out to the World Wide Web, um, but kind of to more of a local so that you can use it for um, training, for internal training, for staff training, um, to kind of broadcast out a meeting to shareholders. So you can just put that into your local network if you want or record it for later. Brilliant. So you can have multiple people there as well, can't you? So as well as kind of multiple camera inputs, you can yes. also cross to other sides of the world as long as they've got a webcam, that sort of thing, and really easily. So we've, pop yeah, it in. we've got a really, really cool um, new feature in version eight. It's called Rendezvous. So what you do is you open up this Rendezvous session, um, you send this link to um, to whoever it is that you want to bring in. All they need is a web browser. That web browser opens up. They log in, uh, add their name. You can then manage that rendezvous session from within Wirecast and you can bring that person, whether they be on their webcam or they've got a more professional input, you can bring them in to your Wirecast program. They don't need to install anything. You just send them that link, they open up in a web browser and you can bring them in. So let's take a look at the box itself. How many inputs and outputs has it got? So Wirecast actually isn't limited as how many inputs you can have. But with the Wirecast gear, because it's a pre-configured system, we've got a capture card included with it. So we've got three different models. Your first model has got four HDMI inputs. The second model has got four SDI inputs. And the third model's got four SDIs, and those can either be inputs or outputs. So that's kind of how we differentiate the models. Um, the other difference between the models as well 
um, is how much internal storage you get. So you get 250 gigabytes, 500 gigabytes, or up to two terabytes in our top model. So what happens if you haven't got a professional camera? Is this something that you could still use? Of course, so you can actually just use, say, your internal webcam if you're running the software, or um, your iPhone or your whatever Windows phone you choose. You can download an app called Wirecast Go, and that will turn your phone into your camera. Fantastic. So, yeah, so there really is a wide range of solutions from just running it on your laptop, you and your webcam, you just using the Wirecast Studio software, up until kind of your all-in-one multi-camera streaming solutions for the bigger events. So it's kind of, it covers a really wide spectrum of usages. Brilliant. Well, listen, thank you very much for coming in and giving us just a quick walkthrough of this fantastic product. If you want to find out more about Wirecast, make sure you click on the link in the description. Mm -hmm.